Welcome back to the shop. Today we're going to be talking about Arca. All right, so first let's talk about what is Arca. So Arca, some ingenious person in the camera industry decided Arca was a good way to mount television cameras to tripods, be able to quickly mount them, adjust them however they needed to. Later on, some ingenious person decided it would be a good interface for the firearms industry. Um, so what is an interface? So similar to Picatinny rails that we've all seen before, a uh, bunch of slots, uh, dovetail type thing on the top. Arca is actually kind of similar in the fact that uh, it's a way to mount things to a rail. Uh, we'll show you here real quick. So if you look at an Arca rail, um, this is one that I had laying around from a previous project. Obviously I was doing something, machine the top of it off, but this is basically what an Arca plate looks like. Um, dovetail in shape, it allows you to quickly mount and unmount a gun to a tripod um, like we have over here, or a bipod in this instance. And the nice thing is, in the shooting world, you know, sometimes you'll get into a situation where you need to adjust where your bipod is mounted on the fore end of the gun. Um, so with Arca, you can just unclamp, move it, course, move it to where you want it, reclamp it up, it's rock solid. Um, or if you just need to take it off entirely, that's easy enough to do too. So let's talk about some of the downsides of Arca rails, Arca plates, Arca adapters. Um, so you have, you'll see here, uh, this upper is in the shop. We're doing a little bit of work on it now for a customer. Um, this is a more traditional Arca plate, bolts to the bottom of a rail. Uh, one thing that I personally don't like about this sort of setup is uh, it's kind of big, kind of hard to fit your hand around, adds a lot of uh, depth to a railed forend, which I don't like personally. And another downside is you can never seem to get them the same length as your rail. So one thing I thought of, um, have noticed by now I'm a big, big L&T fanboy. So I have this gun that I built a while ago. Um, typically this gun is used for hunting, getting in and out of a truck, mounting tripods, bipods, all that sort of stuff. Uh, so my idea, instead of taking a more traditional Arca plate, mounting it to the bottom of the receiver, I took and created these Arca adapters that split the Arca system in two, bolts to the normal 45 degree slots on the rail, and uh, still allows you to have the M-lock slots open. So if you want to, um, this bipod, it's an Atlas with the really right stuff adapter on top, take the bipod, slap it on the rails, uh, do a little cam lock on this side. It's rock solid, you can use it. Um, if you want to, you can quickly adjust it. Another thing too, uh, a lot of the hunting I do is usually off of a tripod. So say you got your tripod, get out of the truck. Um, you can relatively easily slap your gun into the tripod and it's very solid, very easy to shoot on shoot off of and engage targets. Um, you can also quickly pivot around uh, to engage targets all over the place. A one other benefit of this system, which I developed for LNT rails specifically, is the M-lock slots on the bottom stay open. So say you're not out in the field hunting, you're not shooting off a bipod or tripod, you still have the ability, without removing your ARCA, to attach accessories to the bottom M-lock slots. So here we have a, a hand stop. You can still mount that on, take it off, or something like maybe a barricade stop. You wanna put that on the rail. Uh, slots are still available, you can still use them. So these LMT specific Arca rails, we machine them out of 6061 aluminum. Uh, we're gonna offer them in a few different lengths. As you can see, this one, these ones are attached to a spec war length upper. We're also going to make them for the longer uh, 13 and a quarter M lock rail, as well as we're starting to machine them this week. Ones for the MWS uh, will only be available for the M lock, but the shorter 12 and a half inch and the longer 14.3. Uh, we are going to type three, uh, type three hard coat anodize them. Um, these ones were just some prototypes that I coated red, uh, just so I knew exactly what they were um, and didn't get them confused with later iterations. So with this system, pretty quick. It's in the tripod, nice and steady. Unclamp it from there. Take our bipod, 
slap it on. Also, nice and steady. And quickly go back to a bear gun.